the girl that calls four countries home. How are you guys? I've got a pot on the stove. I thought I'll just come show my face. Because a few of you have told me that I am being missed. That my silence is being felt. Guys, if you're new here, thank you. Ooh, story time. Should I tell a story? Oh, guys, I'm feeling as I look shiny, oily, exhausted. Yeah, yesterday, I felt triple D or, or, or four pull D. I felt depleted. I felt defeated. I felt deflated i felt depressed <gasps> i said it <gasps> but no today man i've i've had a mental shift i've had a, me a mental shift and um feeling good feeling good actually i had an interview on saturday night um and I thought that would have been on the channel by now, but it's not. So very, very sorry for being so quiet for so long. I think it's been 10 days since I was last year. Today, um, a friend and a brother sent me something so amazing. So, so amazing that I think, you know, it's worth sharing. I wanted to come and share it properly with notes. I'm still going to listen to it again and take notes. And stuff but i think um the message that i just want to say to anyone that is watching is keep positive stay positive sometimes it's not so easy some some of these things are much more easier said than done because when you are feeling what you're feeling you're just feeling that way you're just feeling that way you are just feeling that way if you're not if you're feeling demotivated and and um deflated and depleted and and defeated and and depressed you know you're just feeling that way sometimes like it doesn't matter how much you try you just you just can't you just can't can't but keep praying keep praying and chatting to people that you know have positive vibes people that that you feel safe with you know and of course professionals where you can um, if you're waiting for your appointment as i am you know talk to people that that you know you know you you know you have different kinds of friends and you have friends that you know bring you life you know these ones are anointed these ones are different you know talk to those ones and um keep talking to god keep talking to god it will get better you will you will have that mental shift you will have that mental shift and remember the, the purpose of life you know and um i think the thing that i was sent in a nutshell the message is have a plan have a plan for your life um sit down pray about it and remember a s k ask a ask you will receive as seek and you will find k knock and the door shall be opened unto you this is the promise the promise by jesus himself so it is true because it is a promise by him you know so stay positive just know where you want to go know what you want to become of your life write it down and work towards it because some days some days some days i know too well some days are so hard. Some days it's so hard to know what, where am I going? Will I even get there? You know, sometimes people, noises, signals, you know. Um, we were talking with a friend of mine who um, is divorced. And we we're talking about, you know, th there's people who just bring you news. There are people who just, I don't know if people are rejoicing in these um things or what you know you don't know what people's um 
intentions are and some people you know mean well you know they come in to update you and tell you oh he's gotten married oh he was there he was seen there oh he was look here are the photos you know sometimes things like that can shake you sometimes things like that can you know so this is why it is important to be very mindful of what you put into your mind be careful little mind what you think and the other line be careful little eye what you see and be careful little mouth what you say because honestly you know that's why the bible says guard your heart and mind in christ jesus guard your heart because that's that's from that's where your life comes from you know so try and stay positive try and avoid negativity try and avoid those people that you know sometimes take a break it is good to just switch off you are responsible for who has access to you and to your life you know unless you live with the people that are negative you know and still i'm pretty sure there's, there's ways around it around you making yourself a little less available you know and uh, you know if you're not physically with those people you can just switch off just block them for a day or two or turn off log out you know just protect preserve your mind because it is so important your mental health is so very important these well-meaning people who are trying to update you on what your ex is doing or what your your friend that you've fallen out with is doing or what your neighbor whoever any negative thing that someone says about you you know these people that are, these well-meaning people just tell them as they come that whoa 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 May the horses halt. I don't want to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. for. I know you, you well meaning. Thank you. I don't want to know. Thank you. You know, the more you do that, the more people will know. The more you, your people in your circles know that, okay, she doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to know. He doesn't want to know. Don't want to know. Not interested. Thank you very much. Keep walking. You know. So yeah. Try and have a purpose for your life. Try and look as far as 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Write it down. What is it that you want? Where do you want to be? Write it down. Go chasing after it. Give yourself something worth waking up for and living for because it can feel like you are a, um, what's that thing? That's like a red guinea pig. It can feel like that sometimes, you know, um, especially when, when things are, when things are rough, when it's going really hard, it can feel like, okay, where are we going and why? Are we going? Like, wait. So it's very important to surrender. Surrender your life to Christ. I mean, when if you don't know what you want with your life, you may not know what you where you want to go exactly, but you know what you want to happen. I.e., I want to be financially stable. I want to be happy. I want to be content. I want peace. You understand and you just leave the rest to god and pray about it surrender yourself and let go of anything that steals your joy don't let the little things that come into your life the little information to distract you uh be relentless look at your goal go for it keep going do not give up as long as you have life try and have a meaningful day like every day try to always look on the bright side of life because there is a lot of darkness there is a lot of darkness there is a lot of darkness and ultimately ultimately 
this is what I said in my interview on Saturday ultimately we are heaven bound heaven bound ultimately like if anything is to help you we, we do not belong to this world this world is not our home we're not staying it's okay it's okay it will be over one day one day it will all be over it will all be over so try and focus on the positive things that life has to offer and try and give back positive things to life, to the world, to those you come across, to those who have access to you. You know, stay positive. Do not give up. Refuse. Refuse. Yilantombo. Ilontombo. Refuse to give up on yourself. Refuse. Refuse. And be extremely selfish. Be extremely selfish about your inner circle. I've mentioned this before. But tis the season for it. Tis the season for it. We are on lockdown. I know South Africa is on lockdown. Things are changing. It, it, this tends to come with other things, you know? Fear. Yeah. Let us not be afraid. Let us not be afraid. There is so much uncertainty. Do not be afraid. Fear nothing. Fear nothing. Because I think ultimately what we all fear is death. Is it not? Like, what are we afraid of? Pain? Because if you die, you're no longer in pain. You know? So let us not fear. Let us not fear. May God help us not to fear. To always remember, he has not given us the spirit of fear. But he has given to us the spirit of love, spirit of power, and the sound of mind. May God give us a fearless spirit. A spirit that lives in freedom. Freedom. May we be free free from our fears remembering that god is with us at all times he will never leave us nor forsake us okay guys i think my pot is ready now if it's not benny okay i love you guys um i will come with a story time i will come with a story time um not sure when but I will. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Subscribe. Sub. Subscribe. 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 Share. And like. And comment. Tell me how you deal with negative things happening in your life. Negative words being said to you. Negative actions. Just share with everyone. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Love you. But remember that God loves you even more. And that is true. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Hela, you watched everything. Thank you so much for watching everything. Now don't forget to subscribe. And go back to my other videos and scroll and scroll and scroll and watch everything. There's very good things in here, very good interesting things. You are number one, number one. Now thank you and take care of yourself. <laughs>